Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I'm going to be discussing the entire PLCM E1B Pure Logic package. This is the Ethernet motion controller. And I built a turnkey package for this unit, so the entire unit is plug and play. So first thing you're gonna see is you're gonna get an inline switch. You can see right here, it's a barrel connector switch. This is your on off switch for the unit with a TDK ferrite installed. So again, this is a filtered power input. You're also gonna get an EMI filter that connects to the DB25 cable right here. And why I'm including a DB25 cable is that this will allow the PLCM to be uh, actually installed away from your Gecko G540 so that you can mount all of your motors uh, cables with ease. Um, it also allows for you to extension mount the PLCM if you didn't want to mount it directly, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Coming over here is my trusty Cat7 double shielded Ethernet cable. This is a double shielded cable, gold plated connectors. Um, I've sold countless units of these. These are ideal for uh, CNC communication because, again, they mitigate both frequencies of EMI. Um, over here is your a power adapter. And this is a 12 volt, 3 amp power adapter. And again, there's the barrel connector. And this is how this works. It's very, very simple. Just plug it in. Now your on off switch, you're ready to go. And again, I don't know why other manufacturers don't do this, but again, that's why we do it, right? So again, this is a very, very simple format. And you can see how we've got everything right here. And this is all part of the turnkey package. So again, even if you had to source all this stuff yourself, that's what you'd be looking at in terms of requiring if you bought just a PLCM. Now, next unit we've got here is the PLCM itself. You can see how this is packaged, okay? This is no joke. All foam surrounding the unit. You got everything labeled. Um, I'm not gonna take this unit out. I have one right here as a demo that I've actually beta tested. Um, but one thing I want you to pay close attention to is you have the actual plug-in connector, and the plug-in connector is actually labeled 12 volt negative, 12 volt positive. So all you're gonna do is match up your two connectors, insert them in them holes, and again, use those screw terminals to carefully screw down and tighten them around those actual, the actual power adapters so that the unit can receive its power and you're all set. As far as it being plug and play, once again, I'm gonna use my beta module right here so you can see exactly what it is. You also notice that there is silica in here so that we can uh, actually absorb any moisture. And I love that feature because again, very seldom done with electronics as it should be. This unit simply slips in, comes down, and you can see how well packaged these units are. Okay, good there. So this is now how you would install it. You've got your uh, EMI filter. Here's the PLCM module. And you're just gonna take this unit and you're gonna match it with the EMI filter. And you're gonna put your EMI filter in first and you're gonna take your screws and just carefully, you don't have to even really uh, use a screwdriver or anything ridiculous. You could do this by hand, it's just so it doesn't unplug, okay? And again, think about what you're using this for. You're not doing anything, you're not pulling on it in retrospect. The EMI filter is an extra level of protection against the EMI along uh, combined with the double shielded cable guarantees you're basically gonna have flawless signals. Now again, this is where your DB25 cable, it's a male to male cable, you can see right here, it's gonna plug into this because now we've got a female portion and we just match up our plugs and we plug right in. You can see just how easy this is. Now you're gonna tighten these down and they will insert into the, the jack nuts. You feel them going and not too tight. We just wanna make sure there's no play. And then this end naturally goes into your system. Now, it is completely up to you, and I get this question a lot, on where you'd wanna put the EMI filter. I, I mean, you can put it at the base of the system where you're connecting it to your breakout board. You can put it over here. Realistically, it's gonna be filtered on either end. So it really doesn't matter too much. You're not gonna see a huge difference. Um, again, you will have all the acclimation of lights. You can see my unit's dusty, uh, but you've got your acclimation of lights right here and the other unit is labeled. So you can just go across the top on your labeling uh, to see exactly what this is. We can do it right now, real brief. I know I'll get questions on it and it's easier to just cover it. And you can see you've got your e-stop light, which will, will actually detect when an e-stop is present, your packet light where it's sending information and your connection light. So if we come over here, you can see your red light is for your e-stop, your packet light is the yellow light. 
and your connection light is the green light. And of course, you have your typical Ethernet connection right there. So you're all set, and then this, of course, is your tower connector. So again, very, very simple configuration and a very, very easy unit to hook up when it's built in a plug and play format. And that was the whole principle behind this unit. I wanted to do it in a plug and play format. And now you see just how easy this is. And like I said, if you want to use the cable on G540 systems, it's imperative to use the cable because again, this module is large. And again, it is all inclusive. You can see it's a plastic case. It does have a reset on the bottom of the unit if you had to use it. Um, the thing to keep in mind, it's self-inclusive and this is large. And of course, if you insert this inside the G540, you'll have limited room to install your motor cables. If we do it this way, you've got plenty of room. Plus you've got an extension cable so that you can basically put it wherever you like. I have a lot of guys that always wanna have their units uh, a little more distance away. So again, this will come with the unit free, super flexible cable, and of course, uh, shield it properly, insert it in the G540 and attach it, it is male, and you're all set. So again, very, very simple process, turnkey package, everything is included with this. And again, if you didn't want to use this cable, once again, very simple, we just unplug it. Let's say you wanted to connect to a breakout board connection directly, you can just plug this in internally in your system and you're all set. Did you hear what I said? And I, I can't emphasize that enough. I said you can mount this internally in your system and you're all set. And the reason you can, it's 12 volt. And that's what I was telling you guys, the higher the voltage, we don't have to worry about EMI. That's why we could use plastic. So again, very, very powerful. Once again, uh, I hope the video has covered everything thoroughly. And if you guys have any questions, once again, message me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com. That's my direct email. That'll get you uh, covered on questions, comments, quotes, whatever you, we have to cover. Um, or you can mess me uh, through my eBay store, eDealers Direct, and we'll get you all taken care of. Thank you for your support. Take care.